EMC focuses on cloud technologies and cloud capabilities. Everything from storage and automation and networking services to the virtualization of all of those. EMC's IT transformation really began about a decade ago. We went after idle capacity systems and storage and networks that were underutilized by consolidating them together using tools from VMware that gave us additional density and capabilities. As EMC evolved over the next decade, our product line was no longer hardware alone. We were hardware, software, services. And in July of 2012, we went live with a very large SAP ERP system on a 100% virtualized stack. VMware vSphere has been a core of everything that we've been doing within our data center transformation, our cloud transformation. We are now running over 11,000 OS images operating systems within our data center and about 94% of everything we run in our data center today is now virtualized. So it is a virtual first strategy built on top of, around, and inclusive of everything VMware. SAP HANA was part of our initial scope for the ERP program. And we reached out to VMware and VCE and said, this is something that we feel that we should be taking the lead within the industry. We did a standard upgrade on the existing legacy database that was supporting the BPC platform from our go live. And we also installed BPC on a virtualized HANA stack off to the side. The businesses preferred the virtualized version on SAP HANA. We were seeing benefits that were some 400% better than what we were seeing on the OLTP version of the, of the BPC platform. One of the biggest benefits that we've seen since the go live is the ability for the business to do their planning loads. Users would take as much as 30 minutes to do a load in the environment just so they could do a planning cycle. By running it on SAP HANA, that load now happens in under three minutes. And that has ultimately given back a tremendous amount of business value right out of the gate to the business users so they can do their jobs faster. By virtualizing SAP, we've saved CapEx. By automating SAP HANA, we've also maintained a zero cost additive OPEX cost to support multiple SAP HANA landscapes in production. The biggest benefit that we've seen is ultimately performance. That flexibility or that performance gain has saved the business countless number of hours a week and a month and as they're doing their plannings, they no longer have to wait 30 minutes to get their results. They can load up the application and seconds later, minutes later, they're getting the numbers that they're looking for. From a CapEx standpoint, we've instantly reduced multiple hardware needs. From an OpEx standpoint, far less resources. In fact, we've maintained the exact same headcount that we had prior to the go-live. As we build out our roadmap ahead, we have to think about what other benefits can we gain. One of the big things that we've now gotten in our tool chest is the ability to automate and build multiple SAP HANA landscapes on top of our existing VCEV block running VCE VMware's vSphere operating system. So as we're thinking about new business applications to run SAP, like CRM, like Business Warehouse, we've now got a tool in our tool chest that we can quickly build and deploy multiple SAP HANA landscapes to support development, testing, training, performance testing, and ultimately finally productive landscapes very quickly using existing capacity, essentially supporting everything that we're gonna to try to do for our most critical asset in our data center.